Oh, welcome to tutorial 5 in our Lazarus Game Maker Studio 2 series. So, so far in the series, as we're moving towards creating a game which, in which instances change in response to objects surrounding them, we have covered the um, highlighted skills here. And in order to learn those skills, we have so far completed pretty much all of the Lazarus specifications, as well as we have created pillar boxes and we have had a background image put into the game. Okay, so this is going to be quite a, a significant video because we're going to be working on the boxes where we're going to get them to fall vertically. We've got our four types of boxes from cardboard through to stone there. Um, we're going to have boxes, they rest on boxes that are heavier than them, but they crush the boxes that are lighter than them. And we need to make sure that we can test this through and ensure that it plays without an error. Okay, so here we are in our Lazarus um, box extravaganza. Extravaganza. I have opened up our sprites here. So we're going to basically, we need to make the first off, the initial stationary boxes for stone metal wood and card now i'm going to always work from the heaviest box through the lightest box just to keep some kind of pattern here so the first step is we obviously have to make the sprite for the stone box i'm coming into sprites here right mouse click create a sprite i'm going to import the sprite and it's going to be the stone box okay fortunately you don't have to worry about animation or anything with this so it's just the plain simple a box that falls down so I come in here um, SPR and I'm just going to call this box stone um, actually it's just SCR stone will do radio and that he's done so and now I'm going to make the actual object for him as well so create object um, the object is just going to be obj stone right and the sprite i'm going to choose is the stone sprite surprisingly enough so that's it don't worry about any other events or anything else at the moment it's got to make sure that it's solid okay because we want things to rest in on top of it etc so we have a solid object here visible etc radio close that object off and now i need to move to the next one which is the metal so sprites i'm going to create a sprite i'm going to import um, and I'm going to choose uh, the metal box um, and go open and go yes and SPR metal radio imported oh it's got some green in here so let's, let's get rid of that edit image and get rid of the green okay cool and that's been saved so sprite uh, well cast close lowercase um, s spm metal done and make the object for it as well right mouse click create object um, o b b j uh, metal all right and choose the object which is metal okay close next one down after metal oh wait i didn't make the metal that was right i didn't make the metal object solid no, don't make that mistake and the next one now we have to do is wood so let's do a sprite create sprite um, and import the wood box which just to annoy us has one tiny little bit of green or two little bits of green so let's just get rid of those and then close it out come into here name it SPR wood else I need to do with that close that make the make the object so right mouse click create object um, obj wood choose a sprite wood make sure it's solid done last one now sprite create a sprite um, spr um, card for cardboard oh it might not like me doing that. Let's just see. SPR card. So I want cardboard box. Open. Yes. Oh, it's okay. Cool. Um, and then we. Yep. Maybe with that. Um, close you. And make the cardboard object. Create object. OBJ card. Add in the cardboard. And make sure it's solid. 
Okay, so we should now have the four, one, the one, two, three, four objects which we can use. They're our stationary boxes, so we put them out in their stationary. Rightio, so now we need to make the falling um, boxes, okay? So um, this is a little bit more complicated, but, but the, each four of them are, are, are very similar. So I'm going to again start with the heaviest, so I can close the sprites up now. And I just create a new object, create object, and it's OBJ. Um, this is stone, and it's going to be stone falling. Okay, so then, um, yeah, stone falling, and then I'm going to assign a sprite to it, which is the same sprite of stone. Um, we want it to be solid as well too and we've got some actions in here so when we create when it gets created so the event of creation occurs we need it to jump to a point so jump not change instance um, where's movement movement uh, jump to point there we are and we wanted to jump to is actually wanted to jump to in front of Lazarus, actually being on top of Lazarus and his position. So the X position, which is our left and right position here, we want it to be directly over Lazarus. So I need to refer to OBJ underscore um, Lazarus. Now this stage you should just be standing. So Lazarus stand, right, in his X position. So therefore it will appear totally, uh, will jump to directly above him at that point. And then we want it to be a Y of negative 40. So he's actually just above the screen. So we can't see it because no, their pixels are 40 by 40. So just above the screen. And it's not relative, they're both absolute values. Right here. So that's the create event. After the create event, we then, or after the jump to, we then want it to start, um, we want to set a direction. So let's choose. Um, oh, what are we doing there? Let's choose again movement and set direction um, fixed and basically want to move down and we need to set a speed and that's our speed there so set speed of just five we'll do okay so we've got that as the first thing when it creates it appears about Lazarus and starts moving down the next event we have to deal with is actually colliding with Lazarus so the collision with the um, Lazarus object stan so object laz stan we need to when it actually collides with it we need to change the instance it needs to change into oh, instances are down there but change into the instance of lazarus squish because he's going to get squished when it gets hit by a box right now um yeah but we need to not change the box we need to actually change the other at the moment it's changing the box we want to change the other so the lazarus and hits and convert that into a squished. Radio. What else do you want to happen? Well, the other event is if it um, collides with the wall, or i.e., the floor. If it collides with the floor, we basically must want to set our speed to zero. Radio. And speed to zero. And we want to change the instance of the actual box to the object of the stone um, change into object stone so it's no longer the falling stone it's just a plain stone box okay so that's where this collided with the floor but what about all the other boxes so if it collides with the metal box which is um, in collision with OB so object metal if it collides with the metal box what it actually does, it's actually going to destroy the instance of the metal box because it's going to crush it. So destroy instance of other. I so say in object stone, yep, it destroys the object of others. Um, oh, that's with object metal. Of course, I forgot, it can actually um, collide with another stone one as well too, in which case, if it collides with another stone, it rests on top of the stone because they're the same weight. So in which case we do the exact same as we did before with the wall and we set the speed to zero and we change it instance into um, object stone. 
Radio. So, it's coming down. If it hits the wall, it changes. It stops falling. If it hits stone, it stops falling. If it hits metal, it destroys the metal, which is one here. Just destroys the instance of metal, and it will keep falling. Um, if it collides with what's the next one after metal is wood. Collides with object wood. Okay, so in this case, I collides the object wood. It again will destroy the instance of the other because it will crush the wood. And finally, if it destroys a collision with object card, OBG card, it will destroy the instance of card as well too, because it crushes the card. So destroy instance of others. So basically our stone block, when it created, it will align itself with Lazarus, start moving out. If, it's, if it hits Lazarus, it will squish Lazarus. If it hits the... If it hits the wall, um, i.e. the floor, it will stop falling and turn into an object of the standard st stone block. If it hits another stone block, it will also stop falling. And But if it hits a metal, wood, or card object, it will destroy that object and keep falling. So that's as we wanted with um, our, our specifications. Okay, so that's the object stone falling. Now we've got to do pretty much the same thing for um, our object um, falling um, object falling metal. So what we're going to do actually going to come in here, right mouse click, and go in duplicate. And I'm duplicating the object. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to call it a state of stone falling. I'm going to change it across to object um, metal falling. Right, and I'm going to change the sprite to being the sprite box because most of the things are going to be the same with this. So the metal box is the, the sorry, the metal, the sprite metal. Um, so if it comes down to hit Lazarus, well, when it when it's created, it wants to find line itself up with Lazarus and move along. When it hits Lazarus, it will squish Lazarus. If it hits wall, okay. Uh, it's going to stop falling, that's what we want it to do. If it hits stone, we want it to stop falling, and that's what we're going to do. If it hits metal, we also want it to stop falling because it's not going to crush metal because it is a metal box on a metal box. So I'm going to get rid of that, and instead we're going to say um, set speed of zero, so stop falling, and change instance into um, object metal, not metal falling. Okay, if it hits wood, it crushes the wood. That's right. And if it hits a card, it crushes the card. And so we have now completed the object metal falling. So you can see once we've done one, this duplicate makes it a little hell of a lot easier. Okay, the next one we now have to do, we've done the metal. So the next one we have to do is we have to do... Um, so the next one we have to do now is we've done the stone, we've done the metal, we're now to do wood. So we're going to come in here, I'm going to copy duplicate metal, because that's the least amount of ones I have to change. Um, I'm going to change it from metal falling to wood falling, and get rid of the one at the end. Change the sprite across to our wooden sprite. Oh, sprite wooden, yeah, it's visible that. So again, create, we're going to do the same thing. Lazarus, squash Lazarus, st um, the floor, stop moving, stone, stop moving, metal, stop moving, and then with wood, we don't want to destroy the wood, so what we do is get rid of that, go OK, we need to then stop moving, stop falling, and then change our instance to, um, our instance to object, we're doing wood, so OBJ wood. Right, so now we've just done the wood one. Okay, so now we're into the very last one. So I need to um, duplicate object wood. We go duplicate. And in here, instead of saying wood, we're going to say card. Get rid of the one at the end. Sprite. Choose the card sprite. There it is. And going down, so create lines up. Lazarus squashes Lazarus, uh, object, um, the floor stops moving, stone stops moving, metal stops moving, 
would stop moving and the only difference is again we have to remove the card and we stop it moving and change the instance into object card okay so we now got our four boxes which fall and um, will fall when they are created and do everything we want so remember it said that we needed to have down the bottom left hand corner of the screen there's going to pop up what the next box is going to be so to be able to do that we need to make now four last objects running out which are called the next objects so they're not stone falling they're going to be stone next and they will appear there before they um, before they move up to the top of the screen and start falling down so creating our first object create object and this one is obj and it is going to be called um, actually we can just do more duplications with this so I'm just going to get rid of that because they're virtually the same as the solid ones but they just have a different name so I'm going to duplicate again starting from the heaviest and working the way down I'm going to duplicate this and instead of being object stone one I'm going to say object stone next okay it's solid it's visible it's got that sprite done okay I need to um, duplicate object metal so duplicate object metal underscore next done duplicate um, object wood make an object wood next and duplicate um, object card and then remove it and make it object card next okay um, oh yeah save it I'm sure you boys would all appreciate that message that just popped up since you've been having fun doing that in class so now we have now created all of our objects for our boxes over here we have I'm just gonna move this out so we can see it a bit easier we have just the standard standing still can I move those around I might do that before we get to there thank you so we have stone metal wood and card so they're just our normal standing boxes we have stone next metal next wood next and card next so they're the ones that appear at the bottom left hand corner and then we have object stone falling, metal falling, wood falling, and card falling. They're the ones that fall down um, and that Lazarus has to dodge. So we now have all of the boxes um, and in the next lesson you'll learn about how to put those together and make them work. Oh, there we go. The boxes are now complete and we are significantly on our way to completing this game. And in order to complete this tutorial, we actually haven't learned anything new. We've just been using all the knowledge that we have learnt previously in this series and the other two series.